out, what's up? It's your girl Lena, and I'm back with Bizarre Rack, and I will not be seeing you guys for a Bizarre Review in like four weeks. I will see you guys in other videos, but Bizarre Rack is not coming on until four weeks. And you know what? I am a little ticked off by that situation. I mean, I'm just like, why am I not seeing you guys in four weeks? But this is the first time Bizarre Rack has ever took a long break um, since it premiered back in June. So I'm like, okay, but I had you for two a whole month, so I guess I can like leave for like a whole month but i'm just like that's like bro and then best was never isn't coming on so i guess best was never gonna come on in another month as long as long with case in the cover and bizarre right go don't forget to go check out my case in the cover review it's gonna be up and let's get into this whole little review recap so we had a special guest on this episode logan paul the brother of jake paul who played dirk logan paul we playing kirk on this episode he's he actually gonna be playing dirk's brother so that's pretty cool i Remember Logan Paul, you know Vine Star. Everybody know Logan Paul. If you don't know Logan Paul, then you must not watch the Vine. But he does the banana split. He splits all the time. Anywhere he stands on the sidewalk, he'll split. He's split by you. He's split by anything. He's just a splitting guy. He do so funny. He's so funny. And I actually didn't know he looked like that. I actually, I must have been getting him mixed up with his brother, Jake. Because they kind of, they look alike, but they kind of don't look like. Like, Logan look, Logan is really, 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 really muscular and big. Like, he's really big compared to Jake. He's taller than Jake, bigger than Jake. Oof, he's really big. He's a he's really big. He's really tall. And yeah, anyway, but yeah, um I noticed that you can see that Jake is the youngest one cuz they're looking at him looking at him. Like, anyway, but yeah. So he was on here, and I thought he did an okay job acting. I don't know if this is his first time acting before, but I think he did an okay job. You know, he was real aggressive with it. We brought the aggressiveness that Dirk bring, and I, I thought it was nice. So it's nice to stay together. What are you watching? What is that? What is that? Mila. Anyway, so yeah, so Paige was doing her physics homework, and they gotta divide the math. So Frankie's like, "This is what you do." She crumbled up like this is Mila's scarf. She crumbled up all of the paper and threw it in the garbage. So then Frankie Paige was like, "How did we get the same grade?" And Frankie's like, "I don't know. I love Frankie's deadpan. Like she's just like, I don't care." I don't, nah, eh, mm, that's just how she is. Anyway, so, Bernie was like, look, I got an office, okay? I got an office, and it's just a junkie room. Liam said, you can play pretend agent as long as you keep the service, the servers cool so they don't overheat. So, Frank was like, look, he clearly didn't say he was cool. So, then the service, they started overheating, and the fans was so loud, and it kept overheating. It was just too much. So, then, Dirk was doing a dare with a jet, a jet pack. Oh my god, he kept zapping himself. Paige was so scared, she was so worried, and Frankie was like, do it, do it more, do it more. She wanted more and more and more. And she was loving it and all that, so Paige wants to give him a safer passion, and then he just looked so bad after all that beating up he got, after all the beating up he been through. Bernie was like, look, behind every good company, a, co a comedy team is a handsome agent. So he was making moves, you know, he the smoothest agent in town. He got them like a little TV deal maybe with like a TV, uh, exactly, uh, exact. TV executor. It was like really cool that he had that. I'm like, what? And then his water fell. It like slid off the counter and the glass broke. But Frank is like, okay, look, we can't meet him in here. It looks so pathetic and, and we look sad and like we look like we nobodies. We have to get a better office. They gotta demand a real office. So Paige did the whole career test thing for Dirk and Dirk was like, oh, I don't know. So then he, she was, he's like, he's like, he's like not, not that dangerous. So then he almost drunk liquid nitrogen. So there's like, what's his long-term goals? So his long-term go long goals was to cannonball himself over the Pacific Ocean and his short-term goals was just to buy a cannonball or a cannon really. Then he was like, his dislikes, his likes is theirs, but then his, his not likes, you know, his dislikes is ex existential, ex, ex what is it, how is it? Existential, existential, the fear of freaking being lonely for that all of us humans think of like oh my god I'm gonna be alone I'm gonna be alone for all my life eh, I don't really care I don't care all I need is to get this money and eat get some food but anyway so yeah so then she was like do you want to be a boss or do you want to be your own boss and he was like um I want a boss somebody that can tell me I can't do something so I can go and do it. What basically he wanted somebody to dare him something anyway so then he was like look um i'm sorry that the results came in that he was gonna either be a daredevil or a stomach or a librarian so then he was like well um is it okay if i do your fun puzzles so then he's like i'm sorry if i did it it was like oh so then Paige was like you just did my freaking physics homework how you know physics 
So then he was like, I don't know, I just did it. It was just so cool. So then he, she was like, oh my god, you did physics. So he's like, it's easy, you just pop them in the microwave. And she's like, that's fish stick, stupid. I'm talking about physics. So she's like, oh, that would really make sense. You gotta calculate an accurate, an accurate trajectory to know how to do your dare. So it's like little clips of what he did before. So he never studied it before. And he was like, um, I just like eating and calculus. So she's like, you know calculus? And he was like, no, I don't know calculus. I heard you say it. But now he always thought it was quackulous, like duck math or something. So she's like, please don't say that. I'm bringing you to my physics club. But she didn't even go to physics club. She's bringing him to the club that's inside of her school. So Bernie was like, he needed office. He put a whole presentation up there, but it was a horrible presentation about how he don't need floaties. It was so crazy. Oh my god. So Frankie's like, come on. So they was back at square one, but they can't lose the deal so they can hear Liam's office through the vents. Uh oh. Little a little a little shaken up here because then Frankie was talking I mean Bernie was talking to his grandma. He's like, Oh no, I don't know why it itches, grandma, it just itches. So Frankie taped Liam doing some embarrassing stuff. So then Bernie was like, Why does Bernie was like, Why does a robot have an office? Why does a robot have half eaten sandwich? What the heck is going on here? Because you know he's Liam is literally in a robot body. He's not even there. Like, okay? Anyway, so yeah, they was gonna end up blackmailing him with it, but they ended up doing it, so they got his office to do the meeting in, which was really, that was like, look at them blackmailing people, they already blackmailing somebody, it's like the, what, the sixth, seventh episode, which is cool, anyway, so Paige, she was in physics club, so the teacher was like, oh, look, that's like finding a translucent, translucent, whatever, 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 some physics joke that she made, and then the teacher was being so shady, I'm like, ooh, the shade the teacher was throwing at everybody was like, uh, uh. it was like the shade, because they were stupid or something, Anyway, but you know what? Dirk came in, and the teacher was like, well, can you comprehend the physics of the first law of thermodynamics? And he was like, yeah, the first law is not to steal thermodynamics. Duh. Anyway, so then he did his whole thing. He did his whole presentation. He solved the puzzles, but he was, like, using his old words, like, six here we go, or six what is going on, like, this and that. So she's like, you mean trajectories? So he basically ended up doing Newton's third law. And she was like, oh my god, you really smart, you ain't dumb. And she just like, was like, oh god, you smart. So, he ended up staying. He, you know, he was like, you want to know about the time I shot up a syrup bottle in the world's biggest pancake dressed up as a blueberry? So everybody in the class was like, I want to know. And then Paige was so happy because she like, helped him find his way, which is really amazing. So then... Dirk, he has implied, he applied all the stuff he learned in the club to his newest dare, and his calculation tell him it's a 99% chance he would get hurt, so he don't want to do it no more. So then, his Kirk, his brother, the Kirk burger, the size of Kirk fries, and the, you know, the shake, Kirk shake and all that, so it was Dirk and Kirk, and she's like, do you have a sister named Smirk? So then, Kirk was like, who told you? So they got like a sister name, so it's Dirk, Kirk, and Smirk. So... You know what? He was like, no, I don't do dares. Look, I'm not built for this. Which, obviously, he is built for it. Because I just said he's massive. He's a, a very tall man. And he's like, it was jokes. It was making a lot of jokes. He was like, you know what I'm saying? He was like, look, I'm not safe. You know, who's going to do the leapfrog dare? They le did the leapfrog. And he was like, who's going to um do the backflip dare? They did the backflip. Then he's like, who's going to do the banana split dare? And he did it. He did it. And he was like, you broke dirt. Because then Dirk was like, I'm not doing it more. He did the backflip, the leapfrog, and the banana split. And if you guys watched him on Vine, you guys would know he does the split all the time. Like, he was split in the midst of a crowd. He would do a split, the backflip, he did the backflips, and then, like, him and King Batch was, like, that black flip, though. Remember, I don't know if y'all remember that whole situation. That was, like, three years ago, but I don't know if y'all remember that whole situation. Then he did the leapfrog thing, and he, like, was, like, jumping over people, which is, like, super crazy. But they put all that in it, and they played the little music that he played when he do the split on his Vines. They played that. And I was like, what? I was like, that's so cool. They was like putting that in there. I like, like I said before, I like how this show is like more social media aware and how they have this like on there, like for the people that's on social media, like for the YouTubers and the finders and stuff. It's not just for like a show. It's like a show everybody can relate to. Yeah, that makes sense. Anyway, so Frankie told Paige about Liam, you know, she, they still back in the bad office area and stuff like that. You know, Liam was like, he hit rock bottom and he shouldn't have done that. So Paige was like, this is a funny story. Dirk is miserable and has no zest for life anymore. So then Frankie was like, that's not funny. She was like, yeah, I thought that wasn't funny either. So, they was like, well, what what happened if somebody told us if we couldn't sing funny songs anymore? So then they thought about it and they had like a little cutaway when they were swing, singing about a Russian farmer who didn't have no more radishes. So they ended up thinking that that was like sad, so they got to fix Dirk. It was like, oh my god. Then it was like, but wait, 
if we do get a show, what what should we should we make it? And it was like an animated cartoon about dog valet, and it'd be called Parallel Barkers. That's the funny joke. That if you didn't laugh at that joke, then you was just like Parallel Barkers. Like par you get it, Mila? Parallel Parkers, Parallel Barkers, dog valet. She don't get it because she's really not hit like that. It's really no. bad. No, it's not bad at all. It's just Parallel Barkers, guys. Liam was trying to blackmail Bernie. He ended up <laughs> he ended up getting able to blackmail Bernie because Bernie screamed. His he was doing this, like this whole confidence thing. You know he had confidence training, so he screamed and was like, "Look, my mom still make me sit in the car seat." And it was like, "Okay, so now they're gonna lose the office." So Frankie was like, "Jesus, even if we're gonna lose it, you should still post that." So Dare was like, "My Dirk was like, my next day is gonna be eating a sensible amount of carrots." So Paige hit up the dare for Dirk. It's like the amazing dare. She's like, look, I took down your percentage to 87% of you getting hurt, not a 99. So then that was really Miss Tyson. But she took the credit for it anyway. So they're going to do it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Dare did it. Dare completed it. He, the dare was completed. Kirk was so happy. He was like, oh, my God. He, oh, my God. He's like, this is what I live for. He was so aggressive clapping. It was a lot. But it was cool. So then Paige was like, look. Um, he's like, thank you, Paige. You, I'm really thanking this for you because you helped me with my new knowledge that now I can do bigger and scarier dares. So she's like, look, I tried. I tried. I can't do it anymore. I can't. I cannot do it anymore. Anyway, so Kirk wanted to end up doing it. And then Kirk, he ended up just cannonballing into a split. That was like the end of Kirk's little character. So um, Bernie put a mini fridge in the office. And it was time for the, you know, the meeting. So he's like, look, I got a mini fridge in here. So he opened it up. He's like, nope, that's a rat. It was a dead rat in his mini fridge. But that was okay. So then the TV guy came. So then he's like, ooh, haha, ha, fancy. I love this office. And it was like, what? And the TV guy was just like Bernie. He wasn't even a real TV guy. He was just the guy who taped the basketball videotapes for, for the Tarzana Community College. So he was kind of a TV guy, but he's like, I want to get into comedy. So he's like, oh my God, what's wrong with you? Like, you just like Bernie. Like, they was basically like, oh God, no. Anyway, so then, next four weeks, I shouldn't say next week, but the next four weeks after that, this whole episode was off. The preview was, they broke, they freaked, a bowling ball freaking hit, hit Liam. So now they're going to be like, oh my God, Liam's going to die or something. But Liam's like a real person. He's not in that actual robot thing, but they're going to get in trouble. And freaking Paige and Frankie they ended up doing something that was crazy trying to be a sad robot or something like that but overall this episode was pretty cool I like how they had Logan Paul on it that was nice you know he had a um I don't think they're gonna give him like more of a like if he's gonna premiere on it but probably not as much you know because this probably like just like a little special thing to do you don't want to take the shine from Jake you know but I thought that maybe if they but do put him on there like give him like more of a storyline not do as much like um like punchline and stuff, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm always looking for a storyline with these characters, not just like have them like, oh, he's stupid, oh, he's dumb, oh, he's this, oh, he's that, you know what I'm saying? Like, have layers to them. So, like, I see Jake is gonna have more layers because, like, he know physics and stuff, so, like, layers and stuff like that. So, give everybody, I want everybody, each individual person to have layers. And this is the first episode that Amelia hasn't appeared in. So, she was absent for this episode. She was absent. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to like, share, and comment on this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel because we got more videos coming up. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.